So in this video, we'll walk you through the basics of setting up the Global SAN iSCSI initiator for OS X. We will assume that you've already installed the initiator and activated it. The first thing to do is to launch system preferences and then go to the Global SAN preference pane. Make sure that you're unlocked. Click here for a portal. Now type in the IP address of your iSCSI device and click Add. In this list, we see the list of ones that are available. Now what we can do to actually connect one of them is just select from the list here and then click Connect. But there are some other options that you might try also. Here are iSCSI options for various targets, so in case you have trouble connecting, you might try these. If you're using CHAP, you can use this. Now as I said, you can connect here by just selecting each individually, or you can select multiple, and then click Connect All. And we'll see them available here. Now normally what you would do at this point is come over here to Disk Utility, select a one, and then go ahead and partition it. Now, one thing that most people like to do is set their LUNs to be persistent. So if you click the persistent checkbox, what will happen is these LUNs will automatically connect each time you boot your computer. If you have any questions, please hit us up at snsforums.com.